Hey y'all, I'm back. This is your girl Forbidden Lip Gloss and I am back with the special edition that I'm adding to my channel. I would like to formally invite all my old subscribers and all my new subscribers. Gracias for y'all still joining me. I would like to cordially invite you guys to Cocktail Chronicles. This is a segment that I'm excited about adding to my channel. I do have a love um, that you can say for, 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 for alcohol. I, I think it's a good thing sometimes. Every now and then you need a little cocktail in your life. So, if you feel that you may be offended for the disclaimer, um, I am over the age of 18. Uh, if you are under 18, this video is not for you. Um, if you are not into alcohol, this video is not for you. If you feel you may be offended, this video is not for you. Exit to the left, please. Thank you. On to the video. So, the name of the, the segment will be Cocktail Chronicles. I will come to you guys either on a Friday or Saturday um, from time to time um, to do a review on um, some liquor alcohol that I purchased with my own money. Um, like I'm going to show you today. I do have something to show you guys today and I did purchase this with my own money. Um, basically, I... Uh, got this idea from my girl um, One Sexy One Tina A uh, One Sexy Tina One Excuse me dog for butchering your name I, You know everybody got so many names well, Sexy One 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 And Nine One One whatever Okay so just roll with it Okay you feel me So therefore This is going to be um, I'm going to also incorporate uh, Recipes um, Whether I'm filming making the recipe of, of, of the week or whatever of that of that particular day like if I do it on a Friday or a Saturday I'll I'll have okay you guys a drink of the day is a drink of you know the weekend is you know blase blase like for instance I made um, pink panties on a particular day last week and I did not I filmed it but I didn't really it, it was like the words weren't matching with you know when I was talking so obviously I don't have that video so but I do have a review for you so um feel free to write this information down I'm also gonna put it in the the box below um but yes it's gonna call the the name of the segment is gonna be called cocktail chronicles and we're gonna have recipes different drink ideas if you guys have a function coming up and maybe you want to ask me um, I can give you suggestions um, on you know what I think you should maybe serve or how to you know do the presentation you know jello shots whatever so we're gonna talk about all that stuff we're gonna talk about you know um, different uh, glassware and things like that and a little bit of history about alcohol too so the first thing I would like to share with you guys um, this is one of my favorite wines that I tried the first time I tried this I fell in love and I sent my girl a bottle of this and I don't know if she's had it yet but you can have this with um, I think it would be great with any type of pasta dish Italian food um, so yeah let me go ahead and just show you guys this is Stella Rosa and um, it is basically really good um, with um, fresh fruit and cheese and you know like a spicy cuisine you can also have um, this with dessert so if you have that cheesecake or you know um, a rich chocolate cake or something like that this would be good to serve with that um, this is a red wine and it has the flavors of strawberries and, and berries so it's called Stella Rosa. They also have a website. I'll put the website link below. But um, if you have a beverage and more or um, like your beverage warehouse, um, you definitely want to get this into your rotation if you are a wine lover. Um, this is really, really good. It has a really, really nice uh, taste to it. And it's... Um, my thing is I'm not really a, a wine drinker. I'm just now starting to get into wines ever since I had this. And I was at a friend's house when I had this. And baby, let's be crystal clear. That day when I had that, I think I had about three about three uh, glasses of, the, of this right here. So you guys definitely want to try this. Again, it's called Stella Rosa. And it's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that is the first thing. The second thing um, that I had got, I got this around Valentine's Day. But there's also another um, 
a company called X Rated that pretty much has the same concept. It's pretty much the same um, type of flavors that it has to offer, but this is called Kinky. Kinky Liqueur. And this is the ingredients far as the flavors that it has um you can put this over ice you can um drink this with lemon lime soda or your favorite cocktail um i've had this with uh cranberry juice mixed with gray goose now for those of you that maybe you don't know i'm a gray goose girl i'm a white liquor lover i love anything white i'm not really into brown uh liquor unless it's it's mixed drinks i'm more of a cocktail um, type of person I but I also will take my Grey Goose straight and also my Patron I'm a big fan of Patron and Grey Goose those are my two white alcohols that I just love um, but this is really good you guys now I got this from Walmart this was $17 the Stella Rosa was only I think 11 or $12 it's, it's not real expensive I got this from Walmart now the other the other brand that I was saying that is that is the sister is called X-Rated. Um, for those of you that shop at CVS or Rite Aid, you can find X-Rated in um, those locations. I know for sure that they have it. Um, Food for Less and, and also, I, I believe Food for Less has it, but I'm not sure. But you definitely want to um, check your, your beverage warehouse where you, if you have a beverages and more or a beverage warehouse again. We have a place out here in Sacramento called Total Wines. For those of you that are in Sac or in El Grove, Shout out to my Elk Grove and my Sac family. Um, Total Wine that opened up on Arden and How. You definitely need to check it out because it is the bomb.com. So, again, you guys, this right here, um, this is the business. And, again, this is what is infused in this. And it, it, it tastes really good. This would be good. Um, I'm noticing a pattern with baby showers now. You're starting to see pink panties and, and really fruity, uh, girly drinks at baby showers now. This would be really good to mix with, you know, you can use cranberry juice. You can use, um, you know, pineapple juice. You can use cran grape, cran raspberry, cran pomegranate. It doesn't matter. Um, you're your own basically chemist when you're in the kitchen, you know, when it comes to mixing drinks and things like that. I like to always think outside the box. Um, I like to make different punches and concoctions and lemonades and different things. So I like to experiment a lot in the kitchen when it comes to um, the drinks. So uh, I'm going to come this weekend with a recipe drink of uh, that I think you guys should uh, try. Um, some of the recipes I've tried, some of the recipes I've had. It. So. If it sound if you haven't tried something and it sounds good, go for it. You know, it's there's no um trial it's all trial and error you know um you don't have to be fancy with the garnishments and things like that you know just put it in a glass with some ice in it and keep it pushing pretty much but um i do like to indulge every now and then is this is not something that i do on a regular basis so when i have my moments i like to you know have me a cocktail i don't think there's anything wrong with that so Again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the first episode of Cocktail Chronicles. Um, I look forward to the response and the feedback. Um, and, and don't be shy. You guys can leave your feedback. If, if you think this is boring, if you're not really feeling it, you know, let me know. I can take constructive criticism, no problem. But I won't tolerate disrespect. So on that note, holla, deuces.